welcome back guys so in this video i'm going to show you havoc os on moto g 5g so this is an unofficial version but the developer has uh, done some really good work and it is very stable and this is the havoc os based on android 11 with the latest number security patch um, it's uh, very smooth and i've been using it for over a week now so you can see this quick toggle options and this has this very good effect and you have a lot of options to choose from so you can add a lot of extra toggles as well and if you go to the the this is launcher settings you can enable or disable the google widget and the font and the dock icons and everything this is actually the seri launcher that you can also flash via magisk and uh, so it has very feature packed uh, launcher and it's very stable as well no crashes or anything and also if you see you can enable the google feed on the left side and if you want to look at the styles and wallpaper options um, to change the quick toggles icons and everything uh, you can see this is the style option you can choose the accent color font um, the icon style so there are a lot of icons options to change how it appears on the status bar and uh, some fonts as well so you can design on your own which one you like the best and a lot of different colors to choose from as well um, more than you get in the stock you can see i have changed it to teal um, the color this is how it looks right now also have changed the um, the number of icons to appear if I check the safety net you can see it passes by default so you do not have to install magisk or something so and banking applications everything works fine as well so no issues there so that is a really a big relief that we can use banking applications on the custom ROM and this is the Gcam and you can see all the three lenses are working the macro the ultra wide and the main lens um, if you want I will put the link of this Gcam in the description this is the macro lens it's a 2 megapixel so it's not a very high resolution and this is the wide angle you can see the fisheye effect and this is the main lens and you can also see the video mode the time lapse is working pretty fine and the slow motion is a kind of a uh, issue i mean i hardly use it slow motion i have seen is the most stable in the stock version other than that um, so i do not use these this slow motion a lot so yeah but everything else works pretty fine only the slow motion is a bit uh, jittery you can see you have the photosphere as well and the panorama and you have all these video options so um, it uses the stabilization mode according to the option the locked and active and cinematic so that was the gcam if you go to the settings and uh, if you long press on the wi-fi icon you get this this quick option to choose between the wi-fi same with the bluetooth um, this is a good feature I, I don't know why even the stock android 11 it does not have this feature and in the configuration option you have all these different variety of options um, Havoc OS has kind of an extra set of uh, customization options so you can tinker around with all these different they had like decrease over the time because of the uh, Android options I mean the higher the Android version the options are getting fewer and fewer so I don't know because most options are now coming pre-built in the Android 11 or Android 12 
so we have to adapt to the change as well so you have all these different options for gestures um, of course it has the moto actions and every custom rom made for like moto phones has the moto actions in built you can see this power option and also the advanced reboot options as well the edge lighting so whenever you get a notification the side of the screen close up um, it works better for the amulet screen so i keep it disabled for mine because it does not look as good on the lcd display and the battery backup is pretty awesome i'm getting every day 9 to 10 hours of screen on time you can see the screenshots and you also have this advanced feature it automatically um, stops charging when it reaches the desired percentage or is overheating so that is a pretty good feature it also helps you if you are like overnight charging or something and this is the classic the sound options and after out of 120 GB I have installed some apps so the storage is low right now um, the face unlock works pretty good the fingerprint works no issues there so even though this is an unofficial build I think it's pretty good I've been using it for weeks um, you can see the motor actions and I had no issues um, in any way that I can describe it in this video this is a really nice code that I got from Flipkart and if you want I can put a link in the description Coming to the developer options, um, it's pretty similar to what we have seen before, so nothing to be notable about it. In the recent, you have these three options, clear the RAM or take a screenshot or lock an app, so it all the works pretty fine. And the performance is really smooth, um, the apps remain in the memory even after longer usage. And if you see on the quick options, you can toggle the uh, f in the floating window so you can have an app over open overlay as an overlay over another app it works pretty fine as well um, though i'm not using it as much because um, it would be more useful for a tablet than a phone but yeah if you want to use it you can definitely use this feature and it works pretty good you can also have multiple instances of floating windows so that is pretty cool as well so overall the performance is really smooth and yeah i've been using it for weeks and it's no issues for me and if you long press the google assistant button that we had on the stock phone uh, on the stock rom this triggers the uh, you can see the google app if you have installed so now let's see the game performance so i have installed pubg newstead and i'm playing this game in the extreme frame rates so you can see this also has a built-in fps meter so at the um, the top left corner you can see the fps it shows 60 so when i was using it on the lowest setting but with the highest frame rate it was giving me almost constant 60 fps so no issues there so you also want to if you also want to play on like a constant 60 just keep the graphics to a little lower and you can see the gameplay it's pretty fine and the graphics does look a bit uh, simple but if you want the higher frame rate you have to compromise on that I also had the anti aliasing on now i set it to high with 50 fps but the anti aliasing is still on so the framework frame rates wasn't that stable i mean 
it's kind of the highest setting you can go you can see all the shadows and the details has improved a lot um, like for this frame rate you can go maximum of 50 fps um, it is showing above 50 but it, if the maximum is 50 there are some jitterness here and there but the details looks pretty fine so it's, the game is still very much playable um, it works pretty fine so I'm guessing if you like switched off the anti-aliasing it could give better frame rates but even right now it's, it's very good the uh, the playing is the playback is pretty f fantastic and right now you can see I've set it to medium with anti-aliasing still on so it gives better stability in the frame rate department you can see it's constant 49 and 50 so you can see uh, firing and it looks pretty good so on medium even if you are have the anti-aliasing on and uh, this is the highest with the anti-aliasing off in the FPP I think it works even more better so if you want to play in the highest graphics make sure you have the anti-aliasing off if you want more stable frame rates but yeah PUBG New State works pretty fine on this ROM and on this chipset in general also in the stock ROM also the um, the gameplay was pretty fantastic so yeah definitely a good ROM for gaming as well <laughs> So that was the review of Havoc OS on Moto G 5G. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one.